Hey guys, welcome. My name's Eric, and this is my houseboat. Well, actually, it's not my houseboat. My company, Diconium, has sent me on an eight-week road trip going through places like Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Because it's not where you work, it's how you work. And you can work in places like this, right by the water. Now, I'm off to meet some very special guests at a really cool place. So, let's hit the road. My special guest, Marcus Warbs, Managing Director for Diconium Strategy. Welcome to Drive Your Life. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> Pleasure to be here and to get a glimpse of how it is to drive yeah. your life. Yeah. So, how was your trip so far? You know, my trip has been nothing but uh, amazing. Um, started off in Norway, hikes and adventures, and also were, was able to meet some amazing people along the way. Um, and all in all, it's been such a great trip. So what was the reason why you applied for Drive Your Life? And um, how did it feel when you heard yeah. you won the tour? <laughs> well, I mean, it was like a, quite a life-changing moment for me, I must say. Like, I, I was looking forward, I was hoping so much to, to get this opportunity. And um, what was the key learning? What do you take out of this trip so far? Hmm. Well, um, so it's been eight weeks and, and every kind of week or two weeks I've been in a new location. Um, and so I think something that it's really helped me do is focus on using my time. So I think there's something with this, this sense of, of a finite time in a yeah. location yeah. that you really try to soak everything in and, and do as much as possible within yeah. that time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's something that I will try to uh, take into my normal life, we could say. It's yeah. just this hyper focus on when I'm working, I'm working, I'm working hard, but then I also have this time after work and I really want to use it. This whole hybrid work model, I mean, being being the managing director of, of Dicotium Strategy, um, how do you see this? Is this the future of work? The hybrid work model? I think it's uh, definitely a more human friendly way of working, yeah, because um, you can combine working with life much better than uh, you were able to do this before COVID, where you have to be in the office from the morning to the evening every day. You um, enforce paperless working, so everything is more digital, faster. And on the other hand, you have um, the possibility to, to meet more. Um, purpose-driven, yeah? um, mm -hmm. because I think it's really, really utmost important that you also meet in person. If you, if you do both, if you have a hybrid working model, it's really best of all worlds. Why did you join Econium? Tubing and was indeed the reason why I yeah. came from from California to Germany. Next thing you know, uh, I'm coming here for a master's program actually. And then uh, one thing led to another, and then I stayed for the PhD, and then one thing led to another, and here I am now uh, working here also. Um, and I found Diconium because actually one of my uh, lab mates works yeah. for Diconium, and he's now the director of data science. Yeah. Um, and he told me about it, and it sounded cool. Actually, one of the main appeals to me was yeah. that I could work from tubing in still, so I, I wouldn't need yeah. to go into the office every day. Yeah. So that actually was a selling point for me. I've also had a bit of experience in the in the startup sector, yeah. and uh, so merging kind of like data with startup and business uh, just felt right for me. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd, I'd give it a shot, and it's been good so far. Yeah, and then yeah. we accelerated the, this with exactly. Drive Your Life, right? Exactly, yeah, okay. Exactly. We, we went, dove in head first, and we're, uh, we're still going. <laughs> Eric, what did the people in Sweden uh, set so far to your working experiment here with Drive Your Life? <laughs> yeah, I think um, overall everyone has a little bit of jealousy, you know, because we're going to really incredible places. Um, but on the other side, the hybrid work side, 
I feel like, you know, this ability to work from anywhere and kind of having these flexible hours yeah. seems to be, I don't know, part part of the culture. It's ingrained in the culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Swedes have always been at the forefront of new working models, I would say. And therefore, I'm really super excited that we are going to the epicenter now, which is supposed to be at uh, one of the most innovative uh, co-working spaces in the world. And I'm really curious uh, what they do there, how they do it. And um, I would say, let's check it out. Hey, hi, Marcus. Hi, welcome. Hi, please, let's go. Why is it in your culture that working and living works so good together here? Working is what you do, it's not where you are, right? And I think that that's been definitely accelerated by the digitalization that allows you to work from anywhere. And I think that Swedes have been quite, I think, early in adopting sort of uh, how to fit work in with your life puzzle. And, and I think that Swedes have been really been pushing that quite a lot over, you know, over the last couple of years, but definitely accelerated through the pandemic. I think you can be highly productive when working on the outside or from anywhere. But if you want to create things, you are exactly. in need of your colleagues. Yeah. And therefore, I think the hybrid way of spending a few days together and then a few days to focus somewhere else might be the right balance for that. One thing I noticed uh, during my time driving around and doing this mixture of kind of working and, and adventure was that I would really focus on the time I had. So I would be very into my work. And then I'd also, you know, once I closed the laptop, I would just go out and explore. Um, and I think this was a really healthy uh, and nice balance, being able to choose when to work and where to work. Uh, do you also see something like that here, that it kind of like, I don't know, enables people to be more happy? Absolutely. I think if the job needs to fit your lifestyle, the way people have their life puzzles right now with family life, they have their personal interests and activities, they have their work-life balance, etc. I think to be able to have the opportunity to choose, to work that flexible and work if nights if you want to or even weekends if that fits your life puzzle, I think that brings people happiness because yeah. they can control their own time. So Eric, where are you going from here? Yeah, so we have one more week in beautiful Stockholm and then we will head to Åland. So these islands between Sweden and Finland, and then two weeks in Helsinki to wrap it up. Great, but make sure that you step by Epicenter Helsinki uh, as well on your way. Yeah, definitely. I would love to. You're and so welcome. Great. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> And thank you so much for having us here uh, and giving us insights into the Swedish working culture and uh, yeah, this beautiful innovation hub. My pleasure. Thanks for coming.